Hello fans, this is Rob Clues with Z-Track Magazine. Today I want to talk a little bit about track cleaning. It's one of the most common questions we get you know, at the magazine. Hey, how do I clean my track? What do I use? What's safe? What's not? So a lot of debate on that, but we're going to go really simple and we're going to show you how to do that today. So first thing, we have been told time and time again, track erasers. You know, these little guys are bright boys. These hard racers with some grit. We've always been said, clean your track with these. Okay, first off, no. <laughs> well, let me rephrase that. No in certain situations. It's okay to use these, these bright boys. I use them only in a situation when I do scenicing, I get glue, paint, or other materials on the track. The reason for that is these little devices can actually leave grit on the rail. Um, in my early years of Z-Scale, I remember clean track, keeping it shiny and neat, and then all of a sudden engines would stop running. There's all this grit up in the gears. That was left over from these. So if you do do sanding and you have materials on the rail you need to scrub off, use these. That's the best point, best way to do that. After that, I'll show you what to do after you use the rail, uh, the, the rail blocks here, the track erasers. Uh, another tip to keep the rails clean after you use these. So, so only use these in certain situations. What really works best, now I've tried everything, so you don't want to use anything like, um, you know, any kind of sandpaper, sanding sticks. Um, I know some people like steel wool. In those situations, you can actually create small grooves on the rails. When that happens, these rails will collect more dirt, more grime, and you're going to be cleaning them more frequently. So, First off, easiest way to do this, and this is what I recommend, this is the only thing I really recommend, is first you want to get a lint-free cloth. So we're actually offering these now through Z-Track. We have these little packages of lint-free cloths. And here's what it looks like out of the package. So what's nice about this, you're not going to leave any materials on the rail, no lint, nothing, very soft, easy on that. The only other thing you're going to need, which you probably have at home right now, is just a good old cheap isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Just the stuff you get over the counter. That's it. And so the rail we're showing today, we've been using to test run some locomotives lately. It looks fairly clean, but I'll show you what happens here. So, so when we actually have our cloth, take a little section of your cloth here, okay? And I'm going to put some alcohol in it, just enough to keep it wet. So you can see it's wet on there. And you're going to see, I'm going to put my finger on it, and I'm just going to go over the rail. So again, this rail has been something we've been using for a while. And take a look. I mean, just one swipe, you can see all that black that I'm getting off that rail. This happens fairly quickly, this oxidation, grease, grime, natural materials, happens really quick when you're running. And you can see these black lines are forming on this cloth as I go over that rail. Gives you a good idea just how much dirt that is forming on there. Now, another thing I want to mention here is we're catching the top of the rail. What we're not getting is necessarily inside of our points in our track in there. So in this situation, probably a little hard to see in the video, you're going to get dirt that accumulates within these frogs into these guides. What I like to do is actually use in this little screwdriver. Sometimes I'll just come over here, just run this through real quick. I'm sure I'm getting a little bit of black off of that. Just come in a little bit there. Just kind of make that loose, kind of scrape that away just a little bit. Sure enough, I got some black on there. Clean that off on our rag. And then I'm just gonna come in. I'm gonna kind of create a little edge on this cloth. And I'm just gonna kind of scrub that down in there. Yep, you can see it. I'm getting it out right now. It, it's just a little technique. It's a little trick. You don't want to leave anything on there, but you can see the black that's coming off right now. So that's it. That's why I'm going to tell you how to clean track. It's very basic, very simple process. Now, here's the other thing I will say. Now, we talked about the, you know, the Bright Boys, the erasers. We've talked about different materials. Um, one of the items I do recommend, and what you're seeing I actually do use, is gauge masks or track cleaners. And that's one of these guys right here. So if you're running DCC, you don't need a device like this. 
Um, the reason why I'm bringing this up now, I've been using it now since the 1980s. Um, I run analog, so I always put these on here. The layout you're actually seeing today has one of these gauge masters installed. It is, um, the way these work is they use back EMF to actually sense when a locomotive is starting to stall and they actually kind of zap or ionize the rail, essentially taking that grime or grit that you're seeing on the rail and eliminating it. Over time, you'll see it only works really on one rail. So one rail will appear a little shinier over time than the other rail. Um, there's a trick to actually clean both rails, which is take your polarity and reverse it, and then you can actually clean both rails. But what I like about it, 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 it actually helps the grit and grime from becoming an issue. Does that mean you still need to clean your track? Absolutely, you're still gonna have to clean this track. Because again, you're gonna see that over time, you're gonna see the dirt, the grime, and everything on here. You're still gonna have to wipe that off but it just doesn't have to happen that often and, and prevents it. So again, that's it. That's how we clean track and Z-Scale. We just use a couple basic materials, soft cloth, rubbing alcohol, avoid your track erasers, um, have a little screwdriver hand to scrape stuff out. And that's it. Any questions, let us know. Uh, sales at ztrack.com. Happy to answer them for you. Thanks, bye.